EA Sports. It's in the game. EA Sports is in the game. Got it! NCAA Football 2005. Tennessee at Neyland Stadium. That's where our college football action set to begin. And cold weather's in the air for today's game between the Florida Gators and the Volunteers of Tennessee. Here come the Volunteers. Brad Nessler along with Kirk Herbstreit and Lee Corso. Glad you could join us today for this classic SEC rivalry. And I tell you what, there is little in the way of camaraderie between these two schools. If you compare these teams on paper, they really look to be pretty equal. Kirk, what do you think? Well, in a close matchup like this, I always like to look at the individual. Tennessee has been a little suspect at times this year against the run, and the challenge for them will be to slow down this running attack and this running back. And I'm going to tell you something. I don't think they have the personnel to do it. I disagree, and I'm going to tell you why. Tennessee will be able to run the ball against this defense. Talking to their head coach, he was saying they will try to spread out the defense and then run right at them. Watch for the running backs to rack up some real nice yardage in this one. Number 20, fields it in the end zone. <laughs> They'll go to work at the 17. Florida brings in the nickel here. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And he's tackled at the 19-yard line. Gain of two. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on their own 19. Three wide outs here. On the ground with the tailback. He jukes it. And down he goes. A seven-yard run by the running back. Third down and a yard. Ball on the 26-yard line. The ball line up in a goal line formation. Back to pass. Down the middle. Hot. They'll bring him down. They convert on third and long, guys. Well, the offense coming through in a big way that time. How about the timing on that route, Coach? Yeah, Kirk, the quarterback was able to throw to a spot, and the receiver was there to catch it for a first and ten. Nice play. First and ten. Ball on the 35-yard line. They line up in an eye. Ball on the 35-yard line. One, two, three. They'll throw on first down. Over the middle. Complete. Brought down. About six yards on that completion. Second and four coming up here. Ball on the 41. Tennessee in a four wide set. Swings it out to his man on the screen. And he dropped it. Number 21, the intended receiver on the play. So another third down upcoming for the offense. 
The ball line up in an eye formation. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Well, the offensive line needs to do a better job up front of opening the hole for the running back. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. Punts the ball away. Number 16, fields it at the 18. And now we get to see this offense for the first time as they head out onto the field. It's first and 10, ball on the 19-yard line. And this crowd is going absolutely crazy. And he's taken down. So the quarterback keeper gets maybe a yard. Second and nine, ball on the 20. Florida comes out in the shotgun. He drops back, steps up, throws short with the spin, and it's caught, and down he goes. First down, what a pass. Boy, that was a big time throw by the quarterback. He did a good job of taking what the defense gives him. It's first and 10. Ball on the 29-yard line. Listen to this place. It's arguably the loudest crowd in the nation, and they are turning it up a notch. Toss. He's gobbled up in the backfield. And the blitz might have caused that one. Well, the defense took a chance here. They overloaded that side of the ball, and the tailback had nowhere to go. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 26-yard line. Tennessee puts six DBs on the field to counter this five-receiver look. Incomplete pass. They call it out of bounds. No catch. Good call by the official. The receiver made a tremendous catch here, but you can see clearly he didn't have possession of the football when he was in bounds. Third down, 13. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. It started with a student section. Now this whole place is going crazy. Drops back to pass. Looking. Let's it fly. That it ball. Nice timing by the safety to get in there and knock it away. That's what his job is, and he did it perfectly on that play. They'll be able to hear his cadence in the midst of all this mayhem. Number 10 gets it off. Number 11 takes it to 32. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll start this drive at the 39-yard line. Tennessee comes out with an eye formation. Back to pass. Looks, he rolls out to the right. He gets rid of this one. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Second and 10, ball on the 39. Number 12 comes to the line with three wide. He drops back, steps up in the pocket. He's looking across the middle. And he can't hang on to it. He's going to come out. It looks like he was hurt on that last play. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on the 39-yard line. Tennessee comes out in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. Throws this one out to the right. The ball is tipped. You can't expect to get a good drive when you're unable to complete any passes. That's exactly why this one didn't get him any points. Fourth and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. 
No surprise here as they prepare to punt it away. Number 47 punts it, and it's a good one. Number 16 takes it to 15. I don't know if you guys saw this, but the coach gave his offense quite a speech before he sent him out there. And let's not forget, they had some things clicking last time out. He's probably just reminding them to finish the job this time. Florida in a five-wide set. They'll throw on first down. Pressure coming. Across the middle. At the point. And he's taken down. And he hauled that one in for a first down. Boy, that's a big-time play. Did an excellent job there of getting separation from the defender, and he's able to pull down that pass for quite a few yards. First and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. They're one of the loudest crowds in the country, and they are on their feet. Tackle. Great run by the tailback. On that play, the defense looked a little overmatched there. They just got swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. It's first and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. And this crowd is going absolutely crazy. Play action. He's going right. Someone got a hand on it. And the safety got a hand on it that time. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 36. Going with the shotgun here. Back to pass. He steps up. Short toss. Complete. And he's tackled. How about that reception, Lee? A good throw plus a nice catch and some good blocking equals to a chunk of yards. That's exactly what you practice all the time, Brad. And that's the end of the first quarter, and we've got a tie ball game. First and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. They line up in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. Looking. Throw! And he dropped it. How about that? He's got to come up with that catch here. Yeah, you're right, Coach. This is a catch that has to be made. There's really no excuse for dropping that ball. It's second down and 10 to go. And this is the sixth play of the drive. The Gators come out in the ace formation. He drops back. Throws this one out to the left. And it looks like there's an injury down there on the field. Third and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Tennessee has all their DBs in for this five-wide set. Back to pass. Looks. Across the middle. Oh, he could have had a big reception that time, guys. Just let that one get away from his vision just for a split second. Here comes the kicker. He'll try to put his team up by a field goal. It's up. And it splits the uprights. That score leads us to our Pontiac drive summary. Florida is ready to kick it away. Number 20 and number 23 deep to return. Kicks it off. Number 20 fields at the goal line. Broke away from one. 
You guys remember what this offense did the last time they had the ball? Did they have the ball before? Exactly. It was three and out so fast they had to ask for slow-mo replay to recap it. They'll set up shop at the 15-yard line. The Volunteers come out showing three wide. Brought down. Four yards gained on that quarterback draw. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 19-yard line. The ball come out in the ace formation. Drops back to pass. Steps up. Throws it to the outside. And they couldn't hook up on that one. He put too much on that throw. That's his big tight end, and he's definitely not a track star. I think the quarterback just overestimated his speed. It's third down and six to go. Ball on their own 19. Number 12 with three wide receivers. And it's caught. Great concentration. That won't be enough to move the chain. That's what I like to see. Chris tackling by the defense so he can't get away and get enough for the first. Number 16, the return man. Number 16, back to return. Number 47 gets it off. Number 16 calls for the fair catch. He hauls it in at the 35. And now we'll see the offense come out out of the field for their next possession. They'll get the ball here at the 35-yard line. Tennessee lines up with five defensive backs. He drops back, steps up in the pocket, throws this one out to the left, and they bring him down. What an outstanding play that was. Yo, that was a perfectly designed pass play, and they ran it to perfection. It's first and 10, ball on the 35. Tennessee has all their DBs in for this five-wide set. Back to pass. Wants to throw outside. Here's an opening. His receiver has it. The 10. Touchdown, Florida. He's on a different level than everybody else. Well, he sure is, my friend. This kid is a real deep threat. He can stretch the defense and cause a lot of problems for the secondary. And he tacks on the extra point. Over three minutes remain in the second quarter, and the score is Florida 10, Tennessee nothing. like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it. Number 20 fields it in the end zone. So the offense takes over, and the last time they had the ball, they had a tough time getting anything going. They'll take over at the 18. First and 10. Number 12 comes to the line with three wide. There's a play fake. Down the middle. Got his man. And down he goes. What a catch. And that's going to give him a first down. Well, that's a big play for the offense. But I think the defense needs to play a little bit tighter in the secondary. First and 10. Ball on the 32-yard line. The ball line up with three wide. They'll give it off here. Tackle. 
A two-yard run by the halfback. Gain of two on the play. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on their own 34. The Volunteers come out in a shotgun. On the goose, on the goose. Cut. Setting up the play action. Across the middle. Another kick. And he's tackled. Good yardage there. That'll move the sticks. Nice time to call pass here. It looked like the defense might have been looking run. It's first and ten. Ball right around midfield. Single set backfield. Again, he'll get the call. He spins. They'll bring him down. He really showed some good speed there. I'll tell you, no question. When you talk about being able to turn on the Jets and leave everybody in the dust, you have to mention this young man. He's got skills, but his speed is what the pro scouts are drooling about. The ball come out showing three wide. Little handoff. Brought down. They get a yard on the play. One yard gain on the play. Second and nine. This is the sixth play of this drive. They'll work from the shotgun. He steps up. He's going left. Finds his receiver. Tennessee takes a timeout. First and ten, they're threatening inside the 20. Expect the defense to turn it up a notch here in the red zone. And he's taken down. Tennessee calls a timeout. On the 11 going in. They'll bring in their dime pack. Gets past the tackle. Tackle. He gets four, maybe five yards on the counter. Five yard gain on the play. They come out in a goal line set. Across the middle. It's tip. Incomplete. They threw the ball in the cover. Man, I tell you, he's lucky that defense didn't come away with that one. Puts the uprights. And here's the Pontiac drive summary. like they're ready for the kick. Kicks it off. Number 35 takes it at the four. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. They'll go to work at the 22-yard line. Tennessee has all their DBs in for this five-wide set. Back to pass. Steps up. He's looking. Here comes the pressure. Down the middle. Spinning. And he's tackled. Florida takes a timeout. First and ten. Ball on the 39.
So this crowd is making their presence felt. Drops back to pass. He zips one over to the right. And it falls incomplete. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's got to take a deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kid. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 39. Number 14 is back in the gun. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket. Wants the middle. It falls incomplete. A little too much juice on that one. See, this quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. He's got to relax and just make a good throw. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 39. They're one of the loudest crowds in the country, and they are on their feet. Back to pass. Down the middle. And he brings it down. Florida calls a timeout. First and ten. Ball right around midfield. It's absolutely deafening down there. Drops back to pass. He's looking down the middle. Missed tackle. And they make the stop. And they get the first down on that completion, Coach. That was a very nice first down conversion. The key to that play was the fact that the quarterback had plenty of time to look downfield. Looking. And he's going to come up with a sack. The pressure got to him that time. Now they brought the heat here, and the linebacker was able to spring free for a big play. I don't know if they'll be able to hear his cadence in the midst of all this mayhem. He drops back. He pumps once. Looks. Fires deep down the left side. Got him again. Touchdown, Florida. And he hits the PAT. And we've reached halftime here. The score at the break. Florida, 17. Tennessee, 3. Second half just about set to get underway as the teams line up for the kick. Here's the kick. Number five fields it at the 13. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's check out the penalty. Personal foul. Face mask on the defense. 50 yards. He just hauled him down by the face mask. A huge no-no. It's ridiculous to tackle somebody like that. How would you know? You didn't even play with face masks. Fifteen years before you were born, my friend. The Gators line up with three wide. They'll throw on first down. Throws it to the outside. They'll bring him down. First down. What a pass. Boy, that was a big-time throw by the quarterback. He did a good job of taking what the defense gives him. It's first and 10. Ball on the 33-yard line. This sellout crowd is really making a difference now as these guys can't even call the play. They'll throw on first down. Wants to throw outside. 
And that one's fallen incomplete. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's got to take a deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kid. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 33. They come out in a five wide set. Has some daylight. Brought down. Nice seven yard gain on the quarterback draw. Seven yard gain on the play. We get third and three here. Ball on the 26 yard line. The Gators come to the line with their jumbo package. In the pass on third and short. He'll dump this one up. The ball is tipped. The quarterback really lucked out there. I thought they had a chance for an interception, but I'm sure they'll settle for the incompletion. It still was a good play. It's up. And it splits the uprights. Find folks at Pontiac bringing us this summary of how that drive took place. Florida lines up for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Number 20 fields it in the end zone. Spins up field. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll set up shop at the 16-yard line. He steps up, he's going left. And they make the stop, and they threw a flag on that play. Let's see what the call is. Got a hit on the face mask on the defense. Five yard penalty, first down. He got caught grabbing at the face mask, five yard penalty. Yeah, but he did the right thing, and he let it go right away. It's first and 10. Ball on the 29-yard line. Florida comes out defensively with six defensive backs. He's got a lot of green. They'll bring him down. He picked up big yardage on that run. Oh, this is great blocking up front. Nice job of holding on to their blocks, allowing him to break through for some big yards. First and 10. Ball on the 41. Another run. He tries to spin, and down he goes. The back gets three on the carry. Three-yard gain on the play. It's second down and seven to go. Ball on their own 44. Florida lines up in a dive defense here. He's under pressure. It's tipped. Great defensive play by the cornerback. Third down and seven, ball on the 44. Tennessee comes out in the shotgun. He's looking. Short. Guys, someone must have got a hand up there because that ball came out of there kind of funny. You bet. The quarterback let it fly, but it had no chance after that big tree got in the way. Right. 
And they're ready to punt this one away. Number 16, back to return. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Number 16 takes it to 12. He spins around. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll start this drive at the 20-yard line. Florida comes to the line with three wide. They'll throw on first down. Watch the middle. Couldn't haul it in. This incompletion is credited to the wideout. Absolutely. The quarterback executed his end of the deal. Second and 10. Ball on their own 20. The Gators come out showing three wide. Throws to the middle. Incomplete. A little too much juice on that one. This quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. He's got to relax and just make a good throw. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 20-yard line. Florida comes out in the shotgun. Back to pass. Down the middle. Incomplete pass. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. The drive stalls, and they'll have to punt it away. Number 10 gets it off. Number 11 fields at the 38. They're just about ready to get this drive started. After their last series had some promise, but it ended with a punt. They'll get the ball here at the 42. Number 12 with three wide receivers. Nice play fake. Wants to throw outside. Got it. Down the sideline. What do you think of that one, Mr. Corso? Well, I'm going to say that was a nice catch. He got a bunch of yards there, and that's going to spread this defense out a little. It's first and 10, ball on the 26-yard line. There's a the play fake, looking, throws this one out to the right. The ball is tipped. Fantastic play by the cornerback. All you young defensive backs at home, that is how you play defense. Second and 10, ball on the 26. Number 12 comes to the line with three wide. Drops back to pass. Steps up, looks, throws it to the outside. A little too much juice on that one. And this quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. He's got to relax and just make a good throw. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 26-yard line. The Gators line up in a nickel back. He drops back. Wants to throw outside. They went back to the same play that time. Yeah, you're right. Same play as the one before, and they got a good completion and a nice game. First and 10. Ball on the 14-yard line. The defense looks confident as they held him to a field goal on their last red zone trip. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. He picks up four yards on the carry. High formation here. They hand it off. He jukes with the spin. Brought down. When you break one like that, you've got to give credit to the offensive line. Looks 
like they're going to try to power this one in. Touchdown, and it ain't over yet. And a halfback took it in for the score. Yep, he punched that in from a short distance. He had great blocking up front on that play. on the extra point. Just a few seconds remaining now in the third quarter and our score, Florida 20, Tennessee 10. Tennessee is ready to kick it away. Number five and number 35 back ready to return. Kicks it off. Number 35 fields it at the seven. The defense did a nice job of shutting down this offense the last time they had the ball. The offense was not clicking at all. Let's see if they're back on the same page. They'll take over at the 24. They come out with three wide receivers up the middle. And they make the stop. And the delayed handoff works for a big game. Got to be happy with the effort there by your tailback. You are absolutely right. It's first and 10. Ball on the 35. Number four is the single setback. They'll throw on first down. Throw. Poor decision to throw it into such tight coverage. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. Going with the shotgun here. Back to pass. Across the middle. Batted ball. Fantastic play by the cornerback. All you young defensive backs at home, that is how you play defense. Third and ten. Ball on their own 35. Tennessee lines up with five defensive backs. Drops back to pass. Down the middle. Almost intercepted. So they continue to struggle with a passing game, and now it's fourth down. He didn't complete a single pass on this drive, and you've got to wonder if the coach is starting to lose confidence in this young man. He's got the arm to succeed at this level, but you've got to wonder about his composure right now. These fans are showing you why teams hate to come here, folks. Number 10 gets it off. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll set up shot at the 23-yard line. I don't know if they'll be able to hear his cadence in the midst of all this mayhem. Which is right. They hit him in the backfield. A one yard loss. One yard loss on the play. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 22 yard line. Florida brings in the nickel here. He drops back. He's rolling left. Throws it to the outside. It's tipped. And they do a good job at swatting that one away. You're right, Brad. Excellent awareness by the defender to know where the football is and is get his hand on it. 
Third and 11 coming up here. Ball on their own 22. The ball, line up with three wide. Wants the middle, he spins, and he's taken down. Nice play call to get him the conversion. When a team converts on third down, they can really frustrate a defense. When they convert it third and long, it just makes them sick. First and 10, ball on the 38. Tennessee lines up in a shotgun set. Wants to throw outside. Brought down in the open field. How about that reception, Lee? A good throw, plus a nice catch, and some good blocking equals to a chunk of yards. That's exactly what you practice all the time, Brad. It's first and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. The ball come out in the ace formation. Throws this one out to the right. It falls incomplete. Number 11, the intended receiver on the play. So it's second and ten. And this is the sixth play of the drive. Number 12 with three wide receivers. They'll go with a run once again. Makes a move. Brought down. Two-yard pickup. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. The Volunteers come out in the shotgun. He's looking. Wants to throw outside. And down he goes. Oh, my, that long game gives him a first down, Coach. A first down and a nice pass play. Knowing you can convert on third and long will open up your offense a little bit more on first and second. Let's see what they do from here. The ball line up with four wideouts. Looking, under pressure, throws to the middle. Complete. And they make the stop. Good yardage on that completion. The interesting thing about this play is the fact that they ran the same play two times in a row. And I'll tell you what that means. That means that the coach has seen some sort of a mismatch out there. So their last red zone visit resulted in a touchdown. Let's see if the defense can hold them this time. So he throws it right at the safety there. Yeah, he was lucky that one wasn't picked up. Excellent job by the defender that time preventing the score. yards out. High formation here. They'll drop in for a loss. Five yard loss on the play. So far this drive, the defense has been unable to stop them on third down. Florida lines up with five defensive backs. Back to pass. Across the middle. Takes off a tackle. They'll bring him down. He looks to be hurt down there. Short handoff up the middle. Touchdown, Tennessee! That gives him two rushing scores on the day. Here's the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac.
Tennessee to kick this one off. Number 35 and number five back deep to return. Here's the onside kick. Sheds that one. The onside doesn't bounce their way, but you know, give these kids some credit. They fought hard all the way down to the wire. Wow, what a great football game. We've been very lucky to see such a hard-fought battle. They can't hear a thing down there. They hand it off, and they got him for a loss. Tennessee takes a timeout. Second and 11, ball in the 44. The Gators line up in a goal line formation. Pullback on the inside is, and down he goes. Tennessee calls a timeout. Third and nine coming up. Ball on the 46. The crowd is really letting them hear it. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Throws. And he got it. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown, Florida. Guys, what a big time score right there. Let me tell you why that was so important. That puts him up by two scores with not much time left at all. And all they have to do now is not give up any big plays, and they'll be able to get out of here with the W. And he tacks on the extra point. So with less than two to go in the fourth quarter, the score is Florida 27, Tennessee 17. for the kickoff. Number 20, back to return. Kicks it off. Number 23, fields it at the two. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. It's first and 10, ball on their own 19. The ball come out in the ace formation. He drops back. Looks, he's going right, and it's caught. Brought down, three yards there on the play. On the reception, three-yard gain on the play. The volunteer come out in the ace formation, fires deep down the right side, and that one's fallen incomplete. He had to get rid of that one in a hurry. The defensive coordinator cooked up a good blitz package that time, and although it didn't result in a sack, it forced a bad throw. And it looks like we have our Old Spice players of the game. They come out in a nickel. Back to pass. And they try to set up a screen. Complete. He's gobbled up in the backfield. That'll be a two-yard loss. They gotta go for it on this fourth and long. Throws it to the outside. It's dropped. And they're gonna have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. You gotta go for it and give yourselves a chance. They'll go to work at the 20. These fans are showing you why teams hate to come here, folks. On the ground with the tailback. 
And he's tackled. Tennessee takes a timeout. Second and three. Ball on the 13. Back in the red zone again where their three previous trips resulted in zero points each time. It's third down and five to go. Ball on the 15. Listen to this place. Try to milk as much time as possible. And that's pretty much going to do it. Coach, what's your final thought on the game? Well, it was a pretty good game by both teams. But I was really impressed the way this game was won. Florida faced a pretty good opponent in this one, but they just marched right through them. I'm telling you, these guys are for real. That concludes another game of NCAA Football 2005. Our final score, Florida 27, Tennessee 17. For Lee Corso, Kirk Herbstreit, and everyone at EA Sports, I'm Brad Nestler saying goodbye and see you next time.